Prince George's County police are investigating the hit and run death of a Randallstown woman over the weekend. Authorities say 21 year old Janelle Oney was crossing Route 1 in College Park when the accident happened. 11 News reporter George Lettuce joins us live in the studio with the latest. George. Well, Donna, the charging documents show the driver was very drunk, and police right away had a lot of evidence tying him to the crash. We've also learned his driving has gotten him in trouble before. Charging documents released this afternoon in the weekend hit and run death of Janelle Oney of Randallstown show the 21 year old was hit so hard by a minivan on Route 1 in College Park that the vehicle's driver's side windshield shattered on impact. Oney was crossing Route 1 just outside the University of Maryland campus at 3 a.m. Sunday when police say that minivan driven by Jackie Longray hit her and kept going. Police say Longray of Manassas, Virginia was drunk. If you're drinking, don't drive. I mean, that's something that. You know, you, someone's life was just taken just because someone wants to be irresponsible. Police caught up with the 33 year old near the 495 Beltway. Investigators say at the time of his arrest, his blood alcohol level was twice the legal limit. According to charging documents, some of Oni's hair was embedded in the shattered window glass. Police noticed pieces of glass in his lap and the interior of his Nissan Quest. Longray claimed it was old damage. University of Maryland police video of the van taken prior to the crash shows the window intact as it entered College Park. Witnesses positively identify the vehicle as being involved in a hit and run. Justice is to be able to have her back, but we can't have her back. So whatever the uh, system decides is, is the best justice, I guess that's why we have to be satisfied with. Court records show Longray has had trouble behind the wheel before. He was fined $350 in Virginia for reckless driving in 2007 and was cited for failing to pay attention in another case. Plus, at the time of this hit and run, he was on probation in Maryland for a handgun charge from last year. And he was convicted in February this year for that illegal handgun charge. Tonight, he sits behind bars because a judge revoked his bail for this hit and run case. We're live in the studio, George Lettuce, WBAL, TV 11 News. 